Your boss mules are f Well, that's at least what most people are saying. And to be honest, they do have a point. If you were trying to create something like a C10 mule and carrying a level 235 mule through Lucid and Will, well, unfortunately, that isn't going to work out anymore as you probably wouldn't be doing 5% on that character. But if you're like 99% of the players in this game, you probably aren't funding a C10 mule and getting it carried through Will and Lucid. You're probably a player who's trying to fund a Enlomia mule or a normal slime mule at the very max. And fortunately for you, getting to this point in the game or creating these level of boss mules still isn't impossible. After the recent changes, it is a bit harder, but hopefully by the end of this video, we go over everything that you need to know on how to fund your boss mules correctly so you can do all the bosses needed. So let's start the video off by addressing the main changes that are happening with boss mules. So the 5% carry is now not going to allow characters to be carried through bosses without dealing at least 5% of the total HP of the boss. And if you don't do 5% of the total HP of the boss, you're not able to get any drops. So what does this mean for your boss mules? Well, unfortunately, if you have friends or you have guildies that are carrying H. Lomian for the boxes, you're not able to get those boxes anymore. And the most recent update is the Golux carry change. And unfortunately, this one does sting a little bit, but it isn't as big of a deal as one may think. For the most part, you don't necessarily need to have Apso gear or Golux gear on a boss mule. Of course, this is going to create the strongest boss mule possible, but it's definitely not a necessity. So we're going to go over a few options of what you will do to replace these current items that you can no longer achieve. And also, as a side note, you can still potentially get these carries as long as you can do 5% of the overall HP to this boss. And to a lot of people's surprise, you're probably going to be able to. I'm going to put a list of all the required HP needed to actually get within that threshold of the boss. So let's start with the hat top and the bottom. So this is going to stay the same. Uh, and the reason why is because it's extremely easy to actually deal 5% to the CRA bosses and getting your CRA gear is still going to be completely feasible as long as you have a mule with a bit of nodes on it. As you all know, the most important thing for boss fuels is always going to be the nodes. So keep that in mind when watching this video. So now that we know that we're going to use the same hat top and bottom and we're still going to use Sierra gear, what's going to replace the actual Golux gear that we had? Well, we have a few options, but to start off, let's go over the earrings. So for the earrings, we're going to want to just use Decidious earrings from Horntail. It's a very easy drop to get and it's extremely accessible. And this is also an item that you can 16 or 17 star, so it will still do the trick. It just won't be as good as the reinforced or superior set. Moving on to the belt, you can either use a Chaos Zakum belt or you can use a Pink Bean belt. Either of these are great options to use as they do still provide the boss set effect that will go with the Decidious earrings as well. Moving on to the pendant, there are a few options that you can use here. You can either use a Chaos Horntail necklace, a Horntail necklace, or you can use a Mechanator Pendant. You could potentially still use a Dominator Pendant, but this requires a bit of RNG and it still would most likely require you to get carried. And although you could still do the 5% damage threshold to obtain the drops from Arcarium, it's gonna be a bit hard to find somebody to continuously carry you week after week or day after day to actually get this drop as it is a bit rare. And then lastly, moving on to the ring, there are a ton of options that you can actually do for this ring to replace this reinforced or superior ring and to start off that's going to be any event ring that you can get your hands on right now there is a great event going on in the game where you can purchase all the rings in the game and event rings are pretty much equivalent to a 17 star reinforced golux ring it just doesn't have the set effect that you're looking for with golux if you can't get your hands on an event ring you could either go with the treasure john ring which is going to be obtained through the nlc quest line or you can get the Chaos Horntail Ring as well. The Chaos Horntail Ring is also a part of the boss set effect that will go with the Decidious Earrings. So this is a great alternative to the reinforced Golux Ring. So now that we've gone over replacements for Golux, what's going to replace the potential Absolab gear? Well, to start off, you can still get Absolab gear. This is still completely feasible, so you don't have to freak out. You can still get these. It's just a bit more challenging than getting carried H. Lomian. To obtain the Absolab gear now, you'll probably have to recruit a Struggle and Lomian party. You're going to need to obtain two ETC drops from Lotus and Damien for the gear, and you're going to need to obtain 
five of the drops for the weapon on top of that you're also going to have to do the weeklies which thankfully for you guys they did recently buff the weeklies for scrapyard and dark world tree you do get one coin per week for the weeklies before it used to take two weeks to get one coin so it is a bit easier now but it will take a bit more time nonetheless versus the old method of just getting an h low me and carry now if you don't want to do the weeklies for any of your boss fuels to obtain the absolab gear you can totally go other routes now they're not going to give you as great of gear but they still definitely are okay replacements the easiest replacement is going to be just using plain old simple pencil gear it's going to give you the set effect and it is still able to be 16 and 17 starred now if you want to spend a bit more time you can do empress gear but for a lot of people they're not going to want to wait the time needed to obtain this empress gear so most people will probably want to go with either the pencil gear or with the absolab gear so now that we've gone over the rings the hat top and bottom and the Absolab replacements and the Golux replacements, let's go over the actual accessories like the face, eye, and shoulder. So for your face and your eye, you can go a few different options for this. For the eye accessory, you can either go the easy route of obtaining the Zakum eye accessory, or if you get lucky enough, you can use a black bean mark as a replacement. Either are gonna be great options to use for a boss mule. The black bean mark will obviously give you the most amount of damage because it is gonna be something that can be 17 starred, but the Zakam eye accessory will allow you to get the set effect from wearing this item to go along with the Decidious earrings, the belt, and the rest of the items in the set. The face accessory, again, a few options here but it's gonna be RNG gated. The first option is going to be your Zakam face accessory, which is gonna be very easy to obtain. The only downfall to this is that it's not gonna be able to be starred past 10 stars. And the only alternative to this item is going to be a pat mark, which for most people isn't gonna be a actual feasible item to obtain and definitely isn't something that you should wait for either. But if you are lucky enough to get your hands on a pat mark, it's definitely worth getting to 16 or 17 stars to use or a replacement. Now for your shoulder, it's really only gonna be one option and that is going to be the Magnus shoulder. And this is also going to be able to be used inside of the boss set effect. But the only downfall to this is that it's not able to be starred up to 16 or 17 stars. So these are the feasible upgrades that I would recommend to any new players that are trying to create a boss fuel right now. Yes, of course the meta has changed and the meta will continue to change as the game evolves further and further into the future. But don't worry, your boss fuels will still be able to do all the content that any of our boss fuels can do. And just as proof to show to you guys that it is definitely still possible to create boss fuels without using a lot of these carries, I'm gonna show you guys my pallies gear. And most of this gear isn't even starred up to 16 stars. So the alternatives like Pencilier and Empress gear are going to be much better than the gear that I have on this character. And this character does everything up to Lotus relatively quick for the amount of funding that I've put on it. This character only has event rings, it has the chaos pendant, but it does have absos. But the absos that I do have are not all starred past 16 stars. A lot of them are still sitting at 12 stars and a lot of gear that i have on this isn't even starred at all so it is still feasible to get characters up to par even without having high attack on all the gear the most important thing on boss fuels is always going to be nodes so again if you can and if you have the node income make sure that you are putting as many nodes onto your boss fuels so hopefully after watching this video you guys can confidently create and fund your boss fuels without having to get them carried through golux and a hard lomian if you guys have any other suggestions or anything that you think that should have been added in this video please let us know in the comment section below but with that being said guys i will see you all in the next video take it easy peace